So let's go inside and actually take a look at uh, how we make a soft gel from start to finish. First, before we do anything, we have to make sure the quality of the product is perfect. As such, we'll actually do 32 individual tests or steps to ensure the product is pure, safe, and effective for consumption. Once these tests are completed and the quality team gives us the green light, we then proceed to break it down into two parts. First part is we actually create the gelatin. The gelatin is created by taking pellets, which range in size of 1.2 millimeters and 2 millimeters, and melt them down at about 65 degrees centigrade. This is done inside of a 600 liter vat that's a stainless steel jacketed kettle. This process takes roughly about a half an hour. Once the gelatin's melted, it's discharged into a small 300 liter stainless steel jacketed kettle that is then plugged into the wall and kept at 60 degrees centigrade to make sure that it's warm and fresh and ready for manufacturing. Step two is the preparation and homogenization of the fish oil. This requires that we take all of the raw materials that have previously been approved and homogenize them inside of a 300 liter tank. This 300 liter tank is blended for roughly about 30 minutes to ensure that the proper homogenization has taken place. Now we're to step three, which is the actual soft gel encapsulation. We take part one, which is the actual gelatin that we've created, and part two, which is the homogenized fish oil, and we combine them to form a soft gel. Each individual capsule is filled to the proper amount. We'll do roughly 40,000 soft gels per hour, or one to two million soft gels per day on each one of these machines. After the soft gel is created, we then put it into a tumble dryer as you can see, there are five different tumble dryers that are in process. Each tumble dryer requires 18 minutes of tumbling and then it rotates to the next dryer. After it's completed through this process, it's actually put onto a tray. This spreader tray is created so that we can actually spread out the individual soft gels and let them softly air dry in a dehumidification chamber. This dehumidification chamber is actually set at 20% relative humidity. This gentle ambient atmosphere creates an environment where the soft gels can harden and create the product that is stable long term. After the dehumidification chamber, we then place the soft gels into a polisher. This polisher takes off the small minute residue of fish oil that might be on the exterior of the fish oil. Now when you see this spreader box, you can note that we can actually do roughly one up to five million soft gels through these spreader boxes every single day. Now, after that step's completed, we then take it over to make sure that the product is sized properly. We don't want a soft gel that's too big or too small. It has to be exactly right to make a product for forever. Thus, we do a seismometer, and this actually rejects any products that potentially don't fit the size requirement set forth in our specification. Once this is completed, we do a final check of the product, put it into the shippers, and then send it over to packaging. In packaging, we actually bottle all the soft gels, and we do roughly about 30,000 bottles per shift. Once these bottles are completed, we put them into master shippers and ship them all over the world to you. Well, now you're a soft gel expert. I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step tour of how to make Arctic Sea. And I also hope you'll join us for future product profiles in the near future. Until then, best of health to all of you.